What are some of your passions outside of Pilates? Oh my God! Look, surf uh, about sports, right? Sports is, yes. is uh, the surf, surf is, is is my my favorite one from many 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 years okay. ago. Uh, to see friends now, not now, but when uh, this thing passed away, I've got a group of friends that we play on Wednesday sometimes. So okay. soccer is going to be there. Next day, I have to do three sessions of Pilates to my knee and my ankle and my back. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I enjoy I enjoy that so uh, it's one it's one of them as well so I, I can't get rid of that it's impossible it's in my veins <laughs> uh, yeah so I'm, I'm located in, in south of Portugal uh, mm -hmm. in, in Algarve um, I just we, we decided to move here two years ago I had a studio for 11 years in, in Seville Okay. Uh, it's, it's not far. It's not far away from me. It's about two hours and a half driving. Um, so we decided to go for a more quiet uh, lifestyle, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so we are in a little village. Probably we have like two hundred people living here, no more than that okay. in this little village. And uh, so I decided to do my house and, and my my studio, my home studio, as you can see uh, around mm -hmm. this where I am now. So I have okay. to give ten ten steps between my. <laughs> house and, and my studio yeah, so a long, <laughs> I'm, I'm long very, commute very lucky yeah yeah it's, it's very lucky and um so when one of one of the proposals was as well uh, creating here like a, a pilates camp as well where all the, the students mm. that we have from from uni pilates uh, could join us and um uh, and do like a, a a year meeting um sometimes twice a year and uh, and and what we do as well is is the the intensive like intensive program when people come here and stay one week with us. I've got four mm -hmm. during the year, so okay. we do four already for people who are already teachers. Yes. And uh, we just we so we find the skills. We go deep in in the method and um, and to be honest, I think it's more than uh more just study is to practice and and, and living this and um you know be, be more physical more than you know reading books and just be mm. here we start at the half past eight and just go until five or past five in the night like non-stop one hour one hour and a half to eat and that's it that's awesome so it's like how long have you been running these Pilates retreats for then uh, well, the first one was from Pilatology Camp, was their ideas to do a camp here, uh, we call them Fit Camp, in okay. September 2018, uh, that when the, when the house was ready. So we're like moving all the things from Seville in the end of August and beginning of the S September. We had the uh, 40 people, almost 40 people here in my house was, was madness, wow. but ev ev every <laughs> everything everything was, was perfectly, you know, done and we had fun, we had workouts every day we had walk by the beach and the beautiful cliffs that we've got here around in the area yes uh, so so the proposal was a balance between you know rest play and um and and workouts like uh, yeah. we have that a, a, oh, a mix awesome. of things yeah yeah that's amazing yeah Martin, i just think the um I, you mentioned uh, about like building the business to a point where you can just go somewhere with it um, are you big on the business side, like building your brand and like like thinking intentionally around that strategic side of things as well? Uh, I I I was I was really bad on that. I'm gonna be honest with you, really really bad. Uh, but luckily, I I've got a, a friend from childhood um, that is is helping us to create that brand. What is Uno Pilates, the, the school? Okay. And as, as you know, like nowadays, the image is 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 everything, right? Because you've got yes. the image, the, the video, the Instagram, Facebook, especially all those big tools because they are the showcase, right? Our showcase to the world, I'm saying, right? Yes, yes. So we are we are a lot of people now doing amazing job. Like really, have, I think we've got amazing teachers in the market, to be honest. And, um, and I'm really happy for that because if you think uh, what bring what brought us here was to share the word of, of these men who invented these right. methods, Pilates, yes. when you read those little books, was I see myself and I see my method in 50 years because I think he was really 50 years ahead of his time. Uh, yes, um, yes. Totally. Uh, so his, his big dream was to everyone at home doing his, his, his work, right? To, to share to everyone because he, he truly believed that everyone could be healthier, 
just mm-hmm. to do into this workout. And I totally believe in that. So based on that, um, nowadays we've got amazing teachers. So the competence when it's all about making business in the market is, is huge. Of course it is huge. And uh, I'm, I'm saying, I'm talking about the LC competence, not the one that is going to go, you know, and kill you and step on you. I'm saying right. the one... We all have business, we all have life, we want, we all want to live, yes. people enjoying what are we doing. And yes. I think the, be- the, the most important part is, you can see the image, they look nice, but you have to, to come here and, and feel it. Otherwise, feel it. you can yes. have a good marketing, you can have whatever, but if you're not good in work, you will work once, but twice you will, you will not work, right? So, <laughs> yes, I know it's so true, right? So, um, you said like Joe supplies visions 50 years, people do. Um, I think you know, when I talk about my vision with Pilates, I, I do a lot with that real men do Pilates, like you know, Joe supplies being a man and him wanting it to be connected with men. And as you get, you know, it became more about women doing Pilates, I feel like I want to bring it back, I want to bring it back to men, bring it back to athletes, and that is really my vision with Pilates is getting men to recognize that. What would you say is like central to you, your vision for your, for you to Pilates? Well, uh, I, so, first of all, I totally agree with you. I, I think, um, and that, that was one of my fights, as, not fights, I would say like one of my goals, all right, to bring men to Pilates as well. Uh, it, it is true, and I agree with you again, that it, it become much more a women thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, um, and this, let me see this. Let me do just a parenthesis. Uh, there is women really, really strong that they do amazing Pilates in every ways. Uh, I need yes. another life. I need another life to get to be like them. <laughs> to catch up. Uh, yes. Exactly. <laughs> uh, so I truly admire them. But uh, when I'm why I'm saying that is because men still thinking this is a women thing or or just for old people thing and just a rehab thing. I, I don't know when. When was the turning out point of this? Um, I know that uh, thank and thanks to Romana, uh, these these uh, methods survives and through the ballerines, of course, because they spread the words. Yes. Because Romana brought all 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 the dancers, you know, from from New York and started with Pilates, and from there created amazing teachers. And thanks to that, spreading the world around the world with Pilates. I, I want to have men as well on, on this Pilates world. I know I want to have athletes as well bringing there. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm, I'm trying to do, uh, I've, I've been working with some athletes in the, in the shadow, because sometimes here for them is like, all right, you just want to take advantage of me and, and, and you know, have more names. So I prefer right. to just to keep him down. But I want to... Yes. To be them, to say, all right, guys, I'm, I'm doing this and this works a lot. This is a compliment for my daily workout. Um, and, and, oh, my God, I, I, I still remember these words when he, when he finished that. He said, oh, my God, this is such a new challenge. And he's a guy that has been punched in the face yes. like all the time. And <laughs> right. So he, he finished that saying, this is hard. This is oh my! I need this for the compliment to my to my daily routine because he's doing two three uh, workouts a day. Uh, okay. You know, technique, strength, uh, flexibility, and then he came the, the he came the Pilates to his life. Said, oh, when are you gonna come here again? Blah blah. blah. So I was really happy to 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 have this feedback from him. Uh, it ma- makes me happy when people just realize that Pilates is for everyone, literally yes. for everyone. 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 Yes. Yes. Yeah, exactly. I love, so you basically punched him in the face of Pilates is what you did. You're... <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well, and I respect the fact that you're saying like training with them in the shadows. Like, I mean, a lot of times we, we want to do things to get that notoriety to say I'm a trainer for the stars sort of thing. It doesn't matter if they're seeing results, they'll point back to you. Like you don't have to put that the spotlight on yourself. Exactly, <laughs> exactly, you know? Martin. That, that's that, that's my feeling. But anyway, um, we all mm. think different, and um, I, I just don't want to take advantage of of them and um, you know publishing that everywhere that we are. Oh, well, I am, I am with them. I, I am the one. I am. No. Because what, one of the things, and if, and if you let me, please should you talk just a little bit about it. Yes. Um, one of the things that people sometimes don't realize when we talk Pilates for athletes. I do treat exactly the same way. The, the same way, sorry. Uh, when an athlete comes to my studio and looking for mm-hmm. me for my Pilates, I will treat him exactly the same way that I treat my mom here. Uh, exactly. Yes. yes. 
I will never change nothing, not for my mom or for the athlete. Mm -hmm. Of course, I will challenge because I will see the needs that he have applying Pilates to the body. So I will yes. watch the body and I'll give him. So I don't have like levels. Uh, this is going to be basic because it's his first class or so it's going to be intermediate because I already do it. No, I'm going to give a Pilates yes. for his body. So yes. I go with the body. Good word. Yep. Uh, so that, that is one of the things that mm, gives me as well the, the, the more, uh, just say, uh, encouragement just to go, right? All right. This, uh, so, because we all have needs, right? Because of our yes. daily posture, um, even surfing, you know, the guy's pedaling all the time. So his trapeze, his back, you know, his lower yes. back. So we need to compensate that. And if he can help in his support, I will have that. For my mom, of course, she will need to do that because she's cleaning or whatever, or she's doing her thing. She's, she's, she's she likes to walk for miles. Exactly. She's active. So I'm going to give classes for her as well. Or if you come a person with, um, you know, a pole that was recently operated or something, I will treat him exactly the same. When people sometimes ask Miguel, you know, Pilates for athletes, what, what, what I could do? I would do just do Pilates exactly. to them. Yeah. Yes. I, it's, so if the top football star in, in all of Spain comes to you or some person who comes in just straight out of surgery, you're treating them with Pilates, you're not treating them with advanced Pilates for athletes or uh, exercise, corrective, corrective exercise for Pilates for like, there's no title for it. It's just, it's Pilates. It is Pilates, uh, Martin. And, and uh, I talk with people like yourself who, who, who treat Pilates like Pilates. Yeah, uh, I, I think Martin, uh, you know, back to the to a little bit of beginning of our conversation, uh, what, what is going to be useful, so much knowledge, and if you don't know how to share it or, or if you don't want to share it, why, why are you going to do that? Uh, oh, beautiful. It is true. I thought that was, Martin. yes, that is so, like, that was such a great line because that's it. You know, no matter how high we get in this Pilates world and who we say that we've taught with and, and how many, you know, amazing things we've achieved, we, we need to be white belts forever. We need to be people who are always learning. And there is going to be some young buck who just learns Pilates that has a great eye or has some great words or has some fantastic tactile cues that none of us have seen before. And, and if we're so above them that we don't take a chance to receive that, we're not going to benefit. Totally agree with you, um, 100%. And, uh, and I think that the, the sharing of, of experience between us teachers, I, I think it should be more and more and more um, uh, comprehensive between all of yes. us. And, um, and like True and Pure Plata said, like too much ego doesn't help this community. We are just a small community. If you think like worldwide Globally, thinking, you're right. is, is, is we are really small. So <laughs> why, why not be together and, and, and share and we, we learn? There is no uh, right or wrong, all right? That there is no black and white. We have to, to play around between that and say, all right, I've seen this, I like it. What do you feel in the body? Let's share. Just give me a tactile cues. I'll give it to you a class. You give it to me. So I, I think this experience of giving and receiving what it should be natural and, and, and like very human, let's like say like that, more than yes. ever now, like this sharing thing, I, I think should be totally in our veins. I, Have I you ever let a newer teacher work you out? Of course. Yes, I did. Look, um, when we do our intensive here, um, we do we do probably Dominic Dominic Bendis here. She she was one of the victims uh, of that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Fernando Fernando is here as a Brazilian friend as well. Um, so Dominic uh, is one of, of of these examples, and uh, she could she could write down. Uh, I made her teach me. Uh, they were on the third seminar. I said, Dominic, I'm going to be your body for you to teach me. And she panicked. Like, oh, my God. It's like, yes, oh. Yes. So I, I was a little bit, uh, I wouldn't say mean to her about saying, right, I was uh, bitten by a shark. I was like putting things on her head. Uh, my, le my right leg doesn't work. So how you can do <laughs> things to <for> me? <laughs> oh, no, that's mean. <laughs> Yes. So, but it was it was like to get out of, of the comfort zone. Uh, she used to yes. say to remember that. So, so getting out of, of, oh, of the comfort zone. <laughs> so, um, and and I I push her to the limits. That's why I like to do to the to the new students, but in a good way, not a bad way. I like to push yes. them to out of the comfort zone, get out of there. Mm -hmm. You will get these on the real life. Mm -hmm. uh, 
So I, I put my, my, my body and I, I, I know that I will learn something uh, with, with a, a new teacher, I like no experience, I'm there. I, yeah. I, I, like, I like to do that. I, I just, for me, it's, a, it's, a, it's always a learning. Uh, you always for can sure. learn how to do or how not to do. So he's always learning, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah. And you're setting them up for success. I mean, she sounds like she's a little bit scarred by the experience. Here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but she's good. She's doing good now. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so, Miguel, you said something earlier that I caught that is something that I don't hear very many people say. I know that I say it, but when we were talking about the stuff that Joseph Pilates did, I hear people use his name so casually. Oh, Joe said this, Joe said that, Joe said this. Whereas I'm like, it's Mr. Pilates. This is an icon. You know, if you see, like, you treat people with respect. And I'm not saying to everyone out there who's watching that, stop calling him Joe and start calling him Mr. <laughs> Pilates. But I did notice that you said Mr. Pilates. And that's one of the things that even when I'm typing, I say, like, Mr. Pilates taught this or Mr. Pilates said that. It's almost like just a man-to-man -man respect, possibly, as opposed to a casual address of this person, even though they're not alive. <laughs> But you know what's funny? I just, I just, I just caught that. Yeah, for me, I, I think, um, I, to be honest, probably I use Joe, but but a few times I always say Mister Mister Pilates. I think he's, he's a Mister, and uh, in in every ways, uh, is 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 he was a, I know a person that should be respected in 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 every ways, and I would never say Uncle Joe, uh, never. Uh, I, I I think I think his his work is to be respectful. I've got nothing against who says Joe's or Uncle Joe. No, no. Uh, but but I think I think is is a. I, I always treat people that I know by Mister. I miss how are you doing? Like is is a cultural thing that I have probably is because right. of that as well. I don't know. Yeah, perhaps. But, yeah, 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 same. But but for me, it's, it's, it's like you said, it's, it's Mr. Mr. Pilates, and it, 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 it will always be, <laughs> not, <Yes>. not Joe. <laughs> not Joe. Yeah, uh, I was going to ask about the, your virtual presence. Now, with your business being at home and everything that's happened, what pivots have you made with your business to be able to survive in this, this quarantine time? Uh, so the, the first one, I was like, oh, my God, when, when is this going to stop? Because I, I need you know, bodies to touch and very, you know, there and the people. So like teaching on Skype. I, I used to have as well a, a, few, a few classes before. Okay. Um, so instead of being resigned with this, I, I started to accept and saying, right, this is what you have now, Miguel. This is the new thing uh, that we have. And, um, and I think it's a kind of short, shortcut when we've got friends in another part of the world and yes. you can you can teach them uh, as well, and they can teach you as well, yes. right? Um, of course, it's not the same thing that you are in front of the person and have the contact energy and everything. But Martin, I have to admit that is one thing. Two weeks ago, uh, when I was through a class, like was giving a class and I was watching, and, and I realized as well how useful can be this um, new uh, technology to give classes because with less, you can do a lot. And what, yeah. saying, what I'm saying that is, all right, you've got, you know, I've got the camera in the right place and the, the, the Wi-Fi works really good and all the connection is good. Yes. You, you really can step out and see the whole picture. Yes. Right, so I find yes. out that there was like a kind of bling. You yes. know, we have a light here and say, wow, this is not so bad as I thought. Cameras, I have a client that I've, I've trained for probably five, six years now. And doing our first class online, I saw a cue. I saw something that I had to adjust that I never saw wow. when she was standing in front of me live. And I gave that cue and I was like, you've always done that. How come I've never seen that? <laughs> That's too good. You know, so it's, it's, it's perspective. It's, it's vantage points, right? Like mm -hmm. you, you see different things based on where the camera is or just be able, like you said, to step outside of it. Yeah, it's, we are adjusting to it. And it, it, it can be a good thing when you look at it from that perspective as well. Yeah, I, I, just, I, I just think like that. And sometimes we, and, and I think against myself as well, sometimes we are too much in the person that we don't see the whole pictures. And sometimes we talk too much and we see the whole picture. So sometimes being out, like in the camera, you just are watching. It's like your, all your eyes and mind are, are focused on the person that is yes. moving. It's nothing will will go wrong. I know this is, anyway, it's my feeling. Uh, I don't know if you have everyone's mm -hmm. feeling. I hope it is, but it's it's my feeling. 
Yes. Yeah, no, I agree with you on that. We spend so much time working in the business that we don't spend enough time working on the business. And this time that we're in right now is allowing us to, to look back and work on the business in certain areas that we've probably kind of put on the back burner for another day. Yeah. Um, do you feel like that's the case for you now? You'll be able to spend some time focusing on some pieces of the business that you, you didn't have time to before? Totally. Uh, we, we, are, we are actually we're doing that uh, with this friend that I told you. We are uh, re, re, redoing things. We are rethinking. I th I, I, we call them the time of re redoing, rethink uh, yes. the, the things. So I, I think it's important for us at school. I know we are like watching our website, for example, watching our books, how we could uh, you know, get better there. I know, speaking with Fabien as well, Fabien, what we're going to do with the school. So it's time to, can we think the things we can, you know, redoing all the manuals, for example. We, mm -hmm. we just watch the way that we are uh, giving the seminars, how we can get better in that, you know, just, you know, putting the things that we've got in, in the head, in paper, write it yes. down and then put it in an action. So I think this is the perfect time of getting advantage of this stopping. Like, you're right, the, the world said you have to stop. You cannot travel, you cannot get out of the house. So why not just to take advantage of, of, of this time and, of course... Like, refine your yeah. business. Yeah, and we find the best. I think everyone should do that. You know, even the image, you know, take a nice pictures now and, you know, mm. go to your website, go to your Instagram account, for example. I always recommend that to everyone. Like, let's see what people is doing the best around the world because I think there, there are amazing people working their, their, their uh, Instagram accounts, their social yes. media. I think there are amazing, amazing jobs there, amazing initiatives as well. So watch them and, you know, don't do a copy because I'm totally against the copies, but... You know, get ideas of that yes. and create your own label, your own brand. And it's time to reaffirm. See, again, re, it's re yes. again, reaffirm your, your in the market. Yeah, but I agree with you. It's time to be more as well on, on the business as well because it's, it's, it's a time to change like yes. for everyone. New opportunities yes. will come. So why not to take, take advantage of that?